Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at the serverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to copy a file from inside your Docker container to the host file system. And as you see, I've got Ubuntu running right here and I'm going to start up a new Docker container. I'm going to call it container name. You'll see why in a minute. It'll just be a regular Nginx container and I'm going to tunnel into this container as it's running with a little sudo docker exec command. Oh, what's the name of the container? Oh, I named it container name. Oh, a brilliant name. And I'm going to go to its bin bash directory. That's why I called it container name, just so it's easier to keep track of. And as you can see right here, root at 86b, little ls command here tells me that I am now inside that running Docker container. And I'd like to copy a file that's inside that container to my host file system. Uh, well, what file do I wanna copy? Uh, well, why don't I create one? So I'm gonna do a little touch command and I'll say touch docker file copy example.txt. Do a little ls command and you can see, boom, there that file is, but that file is inside the Docker container. How do I get it onto my local machine? Well, I'm on the desktop there. If I do a little ls command, you can see that I've got no files on my local file system. Well, why don't I actually copy that file that's in the container in, onto my file system locally? So all I have to do is a sudo docker command. It's the copy command, cp. You gotta specify the container name, which for me is container name, and then the path of the file inside the container, which was what? Docker file copy example.txt. Well, this is getting a little long here, so I'm gonna maximize the screen. And once you've got the name of the file inside the container, well, you just gotta specify the folder location, the name of the file you want to use when you copy it onto your host machine. And here I'll just call it copied file.txt. And that's going to take that file that I created that's currently inside the Docker container and copy it onto the host machine with that new name. Don't believe me? Well, let's do the ls command and boom, all of a sudden, there you go. On the desktop, I have that file named copied file. Don't believe me? Are you from Missouri? Do you want to see this? Do you need to be shown? Well, there that, there that file is hiding in that bottom left hand, right hand <laughs> corner over there. So there you go. We have copied that file. That's how easy it is to do. Now, you know, if you want to get even more complicated, you know, I just copied a file that I created, but you know, maybe you actually want to get, you know, a file that Nginx uses. So if you want to configure Nginx as a reverse proxy or something like that, you got to get that default config file under etsy nginx comp. And so if I wanted to actually grab that file, I could just do something like sudo docker cp. It's in that container I ran initially, so container name, and then say I want that file in Etsy nginx conf d called default.conf. I think I typed that correctly. And I'd like to copy that onto my desktop as well. And give it the same name, default.conf. Well, now this will actually take that nginx file and copy it onto my local file system. And now you can see that default.conf is right there over in the bottom right hand corner, just sitting there waiting for me to, I don't know, I could cat it, take a look at it, whatever I wanted to do with it. Um, you know, it really is uh, up to you what you wanna do at this point in time. But there you go, um, that's all you have to do to copy a file from inside a Docker container onto your local file system. It's just a simple Docker PS command and then just reference the name of the container, the location of the file and where you wanna put it onto your local machine and you're done. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Docker, Nginx, Java, microservices, DevOps, Git, and GitHub, you name it. Uh, we've got some tutorials over there about it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ. And why not subscribe on the YouTube?